Hello and welcome to Raggy's Beers, Beers, Wines and Spirits Reviews. I nearly didn't get it right. Uh, tonight I'm going to be reviewing, I think it's actually on uh, Audi's Little Beer Festival. I didn't pick it up because I've already got it. Uh, Black Sheep Yorkshire Square Ale, which is a 5% um, ale. Uh, superbly dry and full bodied with a long lasting crisp bitter finish. Not really reading that on the back because it's too small and my eyes are too tired at this time of night. So I'll do a quick um, Google. <clears throat> and then give it a pour, see how, see how it plays. Yorkshire Square Ale, here we go. Right, get a glass. Just been to Lidl, picked up 50. No, 19 new beers to um, review. And with the 10 from Audi yesterday, that's 29. I think, so. I think I'm going to get the red card soon, though, so I need to be uh, more careful. So, it's a golden ale with a refreshing taste and long dry finish. Made with Maris Otter malt, Demoir sugar, and a blend of something else. Golden hops. So, yeah, bit of a gold amber colour, nice white head, good carbonation. Yeah, very bitter, you know, it smells like what, you, what most bitters smell like. Like an old fashioned bitter, in, in my eyes, anyway. Nice bittery taste, caramel in there. So, someone here, bottle from B&M, B&M do sell it, but also it's on Aldi's um, little bit of a beer festival they're doing. So if you want it, make sure you, uh, if that's what you want. So they're saying it's amber coloured, with a thick white head, as a toffee and almond flavour. No, that's no one, I'm getting that caramel toffee flavour. Almond flavour with a warming, dry, citrus, fruity finish. Pretty good. Now, it says here, bottle as taste of difference, Yorkshire bitter. Nice malty body. Yeah, there's, there is a nice bit of malt in there. Fairly sweet with a nice hint of citrus. Good session beer. And again... 500 ml bottle, 5% as Sainsbury's taste of difference Yorkshire bitter. Sweet multi aroma, amber, huge foamy off white head, cereal, biscuit, orange, some minerals, sweet grain finish. And again, bottle from Sainsbury's as their own Yorkshire bitter. Pours crystal clear amber with a short lived thin white head. Aromas of caramel and toffee. Taste is light, sweet, multi. Not much going on to be honest. So yeah, it's amazing that um, companies <clears throat> are releasing beers and then they're getting named. <clears throat> I mean, it's obviously a black she black sheet make uh, make it for Sainsbury's and its bottle as taste different Yorkshire bitter. But then also, you know, while you're making it for somebody else, you might as well bring out it with your own name on because you are actually making it. You're bottling it up. And uh, I can't fault him for that, really. You know, um, all it means to me is that I will, when I post the review, I'll actually put down uh, also taste taste difference. You know, because I don't want to do a double review when it's exactly the same product. I had that yesterday with um, St. Etienne Lager, which is from Aldi, and Stella Artois. Both Belgium lagers, both 4.8%. Went on the internet and it's coming up that um, they are exactly the same uh, lager. 
just just rebadged, which is basically what they've done with this. Um, but obviously everybody knows it, you know, so it's not it's not a big thing when they when they know it. So this, like the people are saying, there's um, a toffee caramel. There's a bit of citrus in there. Uh, still carbonated nicely. Still got a good head on it as well. Um, it's quite a nice bitter actually, you know, it's uh, it's very pleasant. It's going down a treat. Uh, there's no, no nasty aftertaste whatsoever. Um, it's a very pleasant beer, a good pub drinking beer this for me. You know, if I was, if I was going to go to a pub and uh, a normal pub, not a craft pub, and I uh, wanted three or four pints of the same beer this is the one you know if, you know if you're on a night on the beer on a on on one beer you know so you take your time you're not going to get drunk because you know as you know anybody who drinks beers if you drink different beers five different beers you're going to be absolutely battered um or you're on your way you drink five of the same you'll be it'll take a lot longer to get drunk because obviously it's you know the flavors and that you know you're not mixing and matching as you would with spirits or anything else you know mixing and matching is what gets you drunk quicker yeah, you really get that citrus in that you know as the taste goes and this is why you know this long thing you know a long taste you really do you really you start off with the caramel and, and toffee and as it's sitting in your mouth, and you're getting that citrus coming through. Amazing, that amazing how it, how it works, you know. That was very, very enjoyable. So, uh, Yorkshire Square Ale, or Taste the Difference, um, uh, Yorkshire Bitter, which I'll, I'll put down in the review when I post it later. Uh, yeah, very good, very good. Um, I wouldn't say it's outstanding, but I do think it's a good ale. So we'll give it a 4.3 out of 5. Yeah, really good. In, totally enjoyed that. Right, that's all for tonight. Thanks for watching.